Hi, it's Laura with Following the Paper Trail, and I have a mini here to show you that is one of the ones that I have been owing for a while. This one is for the uh, Du Shabby Chic October trade. Yeah, October. It's the last day of November. I'm finally getting an October trade out. This is like one of five that I had to get done, so I'm slowly, slowly getting them out of here. But this one is going to Bona, because she, she wanted a Halloween-themed mini. Um, this one was so totally fun to make. I wanted this one to look like a haunted house, and I just, I was having a great time. This was really brought back memories from graduate school. I went to University of Oregon where I have a master's degree in architecture. I also have a bachelor's in interior design, but this brought back lots of memories of model making. Um, I had a, uh, for my thesis project, it was a mixed-use high-rise building for downtown Portland, and I, um, it spent 70 hours on that model, so this one not quite so much, but um, on that note, I will not be doing a tutorial for how to make this album, so don't ask, don't beg, it's 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 not going to happen. Um, I may do one for this center section, because I think I'm going to do an album, like this center section, which is the actual album of this, so you can see it may be a mini, but you can see how big it is, because um, this part here and this part down here is actually just kind of um, for show. The actual mini is actually right in here, but tons of fun to do um here up here at the top keep it in the light this is some lace that made a perfect little kind of widow's walk railing around the top then down here i have some other lace that just kind of fit in then i just use opaque marker to mark some um the see the roof tiles this is a tim holtz plate that i put some patina on to give it kind of an aged look and then this is one of these plastic skulls that i got when all the halloween stuff was out and I just basically cut the back half of it off. It's plastic. I just used my X-Acto knife. Didn't, you know, lose any appendages or anything. But cut that off. And then I colored it with some um, alcohol inks. Some copper alcohol inks. Some green. Some brown. And then I use red stickles in the eyes. Kind of make it kind of creepy looking. And then down here I have a door that has this really cool key that I found that had wings on it. I just thought it kind of fit appropriately with the Halloween theme. Then windows, it has some acetate in it. I actually used the packaging from Tim Holtz, um, something or other that I got. That's the one thing I have a problem with with Tim Holtz stuff is it's all wrapped in a ton of plastic. There's one of my famous plastic little spiders from the dollar store. And some little hinges, I patinaed them as well. And a little Tim Holtz, um, I think they call them hitch posts. Um, looks like a little hitch. Looks like a doorknob too. So, um, and then inside here has a little um, ghost and a bat. And then that stays closed. Down here, this is um, just some little fencing that I bought, and it's got in there. It's all wired together, so I just crumpled the wire a little so it made it not so perfect. And then I glimmer misted and and um, inked it with a ton of different glimmer mist colors to make it really aged. Then a little bit of gauze that I kind of just wrapped in amongst, and then some of my famous chain and then a boo charm so it's supposed to look like a haunted house but what fun it was to make I had a good time so on this side then you're gonna pull this open and it's got some of those um, magnets that are um, basic gray and they're so they're really thin you can see they're not very deep they don't poke out very much so they're real thin but I do have problems with them coming unstuck so what I did is I punched a flower out of the same um, paper that I used here and glued that down. Because if I tried to do a flat piece of paper, it sticks up just enough that it would get all weird and crumply. So this worked out perfectly to help hold those on. And I did the same thing down at the other end. So neat idea for keeping those in. Anyway, I'll set this down. Then uh, what this has, it has an accordion fold um, way of attaching these tags. And these tags just pressure fit in there. And then I made them double sided so that she can add photos. This is just a band across and the photo can slip underneath it. And then they just pressure fit in there and just stay in there. You could attach them in, I guess, if you wanted to. But this, this portion, the mini portion, I'm actually going to do um, another album on and I will do a tutorial about it. So then here's a pocket that's got a couple of tags in it. Me and my my new fave, the Glimmer Mist. Why use one color when you can use 14? So, 
that's my theory. Speaking of architecture, you know, less is more. Well, more is better. So <laughs> anyway, so then these just slip into that little slot there. So there's that one. You can see on the back side there. And some more. Get those, put little stickles on the head of those spiders. A little journaling spot in the back. This one is actually in one of those pockets that was designed by Jana at Two World Swings and made famous by Marionetta Piece of Craft. So if anybody's you know ever done any minis and watched YouTube, you've probably made one of these. So just out of little envelopes. So again, that just little slips right inside. There's another tag there. And then this flips open on this side. You could have them alternating and gatefold, but I just found it's easier to stick one side down than the other. Then I'll have to fiddle with back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. So this one's got a little journaling spot on this side. So, and this has got a cute little um, Halloween earring that I took apart and put it on there. A little bat thought he was so cute. Again, slips in that little pressure fit. Then here's another pocket with a couple of tags in it. And a spider. So she can put photos here. There's the bat. Some stickers. It was fun getting the Christmas stuff out of, or the Christmas. <laughs> can see where my brain is. Getting the Halloween stuff back out again. So, there's another little pocket, some glimmer mist, trick or treat, so put a computer kids pictures in here, she's got such cute little kids, there's another one with that stripe, and then the last tag, is this one, I just love these little witch's feet, I think they're so cute, so I just, I had a great time doing this one, it was tons of fun, but these little tags this pressure fit you could attach them in this last one is hard to get in it doesn't want to pop open so we're just going to lay it down on the bottom but basically i just take this side flop it up this side oops tag sticking out flop it down close it up um this this um cover is just wrapped paper and i'm going to show you how to how i did that when i do tutorial i'll do a christmas one of these and show you how i how I made that, and it's, but it's just going to be this center section. Don't expect the house, not going to happen. Don't beg, not going to happen. Uh, but this was just so much fun, and I really, really hope Bona likes it. I just, I really want to tell her how much I appreciate her patience um, while I was getting this to her, and I hope she likes it. When she sent me stuff, she sent me so much stuff. I could make two albums out of the, the goodies she sent me. She sent a couple of kits for my daughter, who she's been having fun playing with those. So, oh, Bono, you're so awesome, and I really, really appreciate it. But, and I, I, so I wanted to make this super extra special for you, and I hope you like it. So, anyway, um, got some more stuff coming up. Be watching. I have a couple more things coming up in the next couple of days. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.